Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to the second part of uh, Editor X tutorial series. So uh, if you haven't uh, registered on the Editor X uh, website, uh, I highly suggest you to do that and you can find the link uh, in the video description down below. So uh, in the previous video we have designed a simple header which is actually uh, simple, clean and responsive. And uh, in this video we're going to add the welcome page here and we're going to create a gallery as well. So uh, let's first start by uh, adding one element here, so I'm going to select this uh, add element on this section and I'm going to select uh, media then my uploads then I'm going to upload uh, one uh, one video of mine from uh, my PC okay I'm going to select uh, this one so uh, while this video is uploading I want to show you that uh, there are also options here so uh, for example we have this uh, media from Wix and here we have different kind of categories uh, images videos uh, illustrations uh, shapes social icons and many different resources and for example we can search for different illustrations here and we can apply that to our project also we have a shutterstock and uh, unsplash so here we can also search for different kind of images and uh, for the unsplash as well so uh, i have found my uh, drone video uh, on this uh, pexels.com website but you can find that uh, wherever you want that's on you or you can choose uh, or record your own uh, footage if you have okay so let's get back here and uh, let's wait until uh, this uh, upload is finished. Uh, okay, so uh, my video is uh, now uploaded and uh, I can add this video to the page or to our section. Okay, so uh, now our video is uh, located in this uh, section. So uh, if we open up this layers panel, we're going to see that this video is uh, located inside this uh, second section. And uh, we're going to uh, stretch this video to fill uh, width and height of this uh, whole section. Okay. And now we're going to select this section and we're going to set its uh, height to be 100% uh, of uh, viewport height. So here we're going to set uh, 100. Okay, and uh, here as well. 100. And here as well. Okay, so after that uh, we're going to add uh, one simple overlay on top of this uh, video. But before that let me just uh, select this video and let's uh, customize that a little bit. So. Here we can open up, uh, for example, settings and uh, here we can type some uh, video text if we want. And uh, next we have a focal point, so the focal point stays on the center in most cases, but you can move that around. Uh, next we have a behaviors, so here we can select uh, how this video should play. It should play automatically, on click or on hover. I'm going to select that uh, automatically. So uh, for the pause, I'm going to select no pause and our video should uh, loop, okay? So whenever our video is finished, it should start again. So here we can also select this uh, play in slow motion option, but since this video was not captured in a slow mo, we cannot use this option. And down below we have also an uh, option for enabling or disabling a sound of this video. I'm going to disable that. All right, so next here we also have a design and uh, we can choose different uh, cover image. Uh, we can select a different uh, pattern overlays. For example, as you can see, we have uh, different ones. So, uh, for example, let's choose uh, one of those. For example, like this one. And you can see how does uh, that look. Okay. But I'm going to remove that. So I'm going to select uh, none. Okay. Down below we have a contour. Uh, we can apply border. And we can apply a shadow as well. But I'm not going to apply any of those. Okay, so uh, on top of this uh, video, I want to add a new container, which will represent basically an overlay. And uh, you will see. So let's select this section. And I'm going to add a new, uh, new container here. So this container should expand in a full width and height. And I'm going to set uh, this uh, uh, fill color to be uh, black. But with the opacity of uh, 60%. Okay, so now it looks uh, even better. And uh, let me just uh, select this container and click design. So as you can see, we can see this uh, white line. So that means that we need to remove the border. Okay, and now we are not going to see that white line anymore. So uh, there is one more thing I want to modify uh, before we proceed next. So I want to select this section header to, and select this uh, background uh, container. I'm going to click Control c to copy this uh, whole group and then I'm going to select this uh, second section and click Control v to paste that uh, on top of this uh, 
second section, okay? And I'm going to remove the headers section on the top. So just select that and click delete, okay? So the reason why I did that is because uh, I want to set the opacity of this uh, header uh, to, for example, 60% and behind this header I want to see this video, okay? So now I'm going to select this uh, background and I'm going to dock this um, on the top left and right. So on the top I'm going to set uh, 0 pixels and on the left and right uh, 0 as well. Okay, something like that. And uh, now I'm going to uh, basically uh, choose this design and I'm going to set the fill color uh, or the opacity of this fill color to 60%. Okay, and as you can see now our header is uh, basically um, half uh, transparent and we can see the actual uh, video behind that. So let me just save that and let's preview this so you can see. Okay, click preview. And as you can see, the video is playing and uh, our uh, header is actually uh, half transparent. So the next thing which I want to do is uh, basically make our header uh, fixed on the top. So when we scroll down, uh, our uh, header will scroll with us. So let me just click uh, edit here. Let's select this section, then the background. And we can rename this background to uh, header for now. And uh, here for the scroll down below, I'm going to set uh, fixed, okay? And I'm going to save that. And let's preview that for now so you can see. So when we scroll down, you will see that our uh, our header is scrolling uh, as well. And it always basically stays on the top. So we can always navigate through our landing page. So we can see some spacing here and let's fix that. Okay. So let's select our header here. And let's add the, the right dock. And let's set the right margin to zero. Okay, so now it is expanded in a full width. Okay, so uh, the next thing which I want to do, uh, I want to add the text here or the title and the text here on the top of our uh, uh, background. So I'm going to uh, right click on this and I'm going to select uh, quick add, then the title. So the title should be on the center here for now. And uh, I'm going to click edit text. I'm going to select uh, center align. Uh, for the font color, I'm going to select uh, white. And uh, for the font size, I'm going to select this scale text. So our font or our title should scale from uh, 50 size to the 72, depending on the screen resolution, okay? So enter. And uh, I'm going to also remove this top docking and add the left and right docking. So the left and right docking should be uh, 30%. Okay, and the top can be zero because we don't need that. And here uh, I'm going to just type, for example, uh, explore nature. Okay, and uh, down below I want to add uh, one more text, so it will represent a subtitle. So just right click and then quick add, then a paragraph. And I'm going to center that uh, just below our title. Then I'm going to edit this, uh, I'm going to align that on the center. Uh, the font size should scale uh, from 14, sorry, uh, from 14 to 18. Okay, the color should be white. All right, so now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to basically group those two texts. So uh, select this one and hold down the shift and select this one. So now we have selected the multiple elements here and we will click this uh, stack button. So now in our layers panel, you will see that those two texts are grouped in this stack and then uh, we can dock this uh, whole stack, okay? So now I'm going to remove the top dock and add the left and right. So the left and right should be 30 and top can be uh, zero. So now our uh, title and subtitle are centered on the on this uh, welcome page. Okay, so we can save that and preview. All right, so let's preview that. And as you can see, it looks very nice. So let's uh, try to scale this uh, to the tablet resolution. And it looks uh, very nice as well. And let's scale that to a mobile resolution as well. And from here, uh, let me just click edit. So we can edit this uh, mobile version a little bit. So I'm going to select this section, then a container, then uh, this stack. So uh, I can move those uh, on the center here. Okay, so now it will uh, look even better. And I can, for example, expand this uh, in a full width. So uh, for example, now here I can uh, set the dockings on the left and right, and I can set uh, zero margins. So now this uh, subtitle will expand uh, here in a full width, okay. So that looks nice and uh, I want to make a few changes here on our uh, mobile design on our header. So I want to move this uh, image or sorry this uh, menu to uh, from left side to the right side. So I'm going to remove dockings and I'm going to place that right here in this uh, 
third grid on the right side and from here I'm going to enable uh, docking on the left and right side. So uh, on the left side uh, margins should be maybe for example 2% like that and here I can set for example 50%. Okay, so now let's save that. Okay, so now let's preview our uh, website. So here it is how our um, welcome page looks like on a mobile device and uh, now we have uh, placed our menu here on the right side instead of the left side and our text and subtitle are basically centered on the screen and it looks perfect. So we can move that to tablet and see how there looks like and there it looks very nice as well and on our laptop screen as well. Okay, so now that we have designed our welcome page, uh, I want to add some animations to our uh, uh, welcome page here and then we're going to design a gallery down below. So first let's click uh, edit site and uh, here I'm going to select, uh, sorry not this, but first let's uh, animate our section from here. So I'm going to select this stack and I'm going to select this uh, animation, okay? And from here we can choose the different animations for our text. So we can check out different ones. And uh, I want to basically fly in or float in. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to customize that animation. So uh, from the direction I'm going to select uh, from bottom. Okay, duration can be for example 1.2 seconds without delay. Okay, that's fine and uh, we can preview that to see how will that look. So as you can see uh, it appeared from the bottom and that animation looks very nice. So we can get back to our edit and we can also uh, customize animation for our menu here on the right side. So let me click this uh, animation and here uh, we're going to use the same animation uh, float in and for the side uh, or the direction we're going to select uh, from right and for the logo uh, we can set a different animation uh, we can select a fade in animation for the logo okay I'm going to select that and uh, let's preview this uh, website so we can check out those uh, animations so uh, as you can see those animations looks uh, very nice all right so now that we have created our welcome page uh, we're going to proceed next and create uh, our gallery section so uh, down below when we select our section uh, we're going to see this plus icon and we're going to add one more section down below. So click that and uh, we're going to select a blank layout. Okay, so here uh, we're going to add only two elements, a uh, title and a subtitle. So let me choose the title here and let's align this text uh, on the center. So for the font size I'm going to select a scale from uh, for example let's say 40 to 50. Okay, and uh, that's all right. Okay, and below that I want to add a paragraph. So right click on this section, then quick add and then paragraph. So I'm going to place this uh, right here for now. I'm going to uh, set the center align here. Uh, the font should scale from 14 to 18. Okay, that's all right. And I'm going to select those two now. So hold down the shift and I'm going to stack those. Okay and we can basically create a new group inside this section. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, remove the top docking and I'm going to add the uh, left and right. So the top should be zero because we want to set the this title and this uh, text on the center and left and right could be maybe, uh, let's say, uh, let's try with 40, okay? So uh, 40%. All right, so now let's select our section and uh, for the height of this section, I'm going to reduce and say, for example, 300 pixels. Okay, I think that's uh, totally fine. Okay, and for the title here I'm going to select or say uh, gallery. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just rename those sections a little bit. So uh, this uh, section uh, should say for example uh, welcome. Okay, on the top we have a header and this one uh, should be named for example uh, gallery title okay and of course we can rename those layers uh, later if we want uh, okay so now we're going to create a new section down below uh, but before that let me just increase uh, the width of this uh, uh, gallery title to fill this stack so uh, i'm going to just uh, set the dockings on the left and right and the margin set to uh, zero on uh, both sides Okay, so that's fine. And uh, next we're going to create a new section. So let's uh, select this uh, plus uh, icon. And for the layout we're going to choose a blank. Okay, so uh, here we're going to create a new gallery. And for that uh, we need to uh, create a new element here named the repeater. And uh, that element will basically allow us to repeat the same item uh, multiple times and you will see. But before we add the actual repeater, uh, let me add just uh, 
few images here in my uh, in uh, my media so uh, media then my uploads then uh, I'm going to click this upload media button and I'm going to upload those uh, three images so of course uh, you can choose and search uh, different images in, in this uh, resource uh, section on the left so for example you have a Shutterstock, uh, Unsplash or uh, even media from Wix but still I have uploaded my own images and uh, let's wait until the upload is finished uh, okay, so now all our three images are uploaded and I'm going to close that now. So here uh, click add element and uh, we're going to search for uh, repeater. So go to this layout tool section and then choose the repeaters. Okay, and here we can choose the different templates which are uh, already designed so we can modify them or we can create a blank repeater like you can see those two on the top. Okay, so I'm going to select uh, for example uh, this one. Okay, so now I'm going to drag this uh, in this uh, section and I'm going to click this stretch button, okay? So now our repeater will fill the width and height of this uh, section, okay? Okay, so let me first uh, show you some uh, options which you can choose here. So when you press this uh, manage items, you can select uh, how many items you would want to have in this repeater and I'm going to leave that uh, as number four. Okay, uh, next we can change the layout here and we can choose a different uh, display type. Uh, we can set um, uh, manually uh, how many items per row or we can set that uh, automatically. So that's uh, our choice. Uh, I'm going to set that uh, to number four. Okay, and then I'm going to set uh, automatically okay so for the horizontal margins we're going to have a 0.5 percent and as you can see that margin is applied right here between those items and vertical margin uh, 0.5 percent as well so uh, when we open up this uh, website on the mobile devices then you will see that those items will stack uh, on each other and then this vertical margin will apply so for the item alignment i'm going to choose a center and uh, item direction can be left to right okay so now inside each and every item here uh, we're going to add uh, one image and the uh, title and the paragraph text okay so uh, before that i want to apply grid to all of those elements so i can just select uh, one of those items and click apply grid so we're going to choose uh, this one uh, with uh, one column and two rows click apply and then you will see that uh, this grid is applied to each and every item inside this repeater okay so that's the power of uh, this repeater tool and uh, next i'm going to add uh, those images here so let me right click on this item then quick add then image okay so now you can see that uh, this image is uh, automatically added on uh, each and every item inside this repeater when we move this image it will move automatically on each and every item okay so let's scale down this image a little bit so we can uh, fill the the first grid here and let me click uh, stretch so now this image uh, is uh, stretched uh, in a full width and height of this first grid and uh, that action is uh, automatically applied to each and every uh, item here so that's a nice functionality and uh, down below i want to add uh, one title and a paragraph so let's first add one title okay for example let's add that here and let's add uh, one paragraph as well okay so i'm going to select those two uh, elements by holding down the shift and I'm going to click this stack button so I can group them inside this stack, okay? So uh, it will be easier for me to set the docking on one stack uh, instead of those two uh, elements inside. So I'm going to set the top left and right docking. And the uh, left and right uh, should be should have the margin of 2% uh, only. And the top margin should have uh, 15 pixels, for example, okay? So now you can see that uh, that action is automatically applied to each and every item as well. So I can select this title and I can uh, connect the right docking as well and set the right margin to zero. And here as well I can just connect those two uh, docking on the left and right. And that action is applied on each and every element here. So uh, we can customize the image on those uh, three items uh, on the right side. So I can just select this one and click change image. And uh, I'm going to select for example this one. And here I can select a different one. Okay. And uh, here lastly I can choose uh, the third one. Alright. So also we can modify the text here. So I'm going to just modify this uh, title. And say something like uh, a beautiful mountain. So I'm going to uh, copy that text and uh, add the text in each and every element here. And uh, here as well. Okay. Perfect. So uh, let me just uh, preview this uh, repeater and see how will that uh, look like on the different breakpoints. So here as you can see we have four different uh, items 
and let's switch down to tablet so now as you can see uh, those four items are stacked on each other and that is because uh, there is no enough space to uh, fit um, those four items in one line and that is perfect for our case so as you can see it looks very nice and of course what we can do now we can also check the mobile version to see how will that look like and here our repeater is uh, perfectly responsive and it fits uh, each and every screen perfectly fine okay so now let's get back to this uh, edit and uh, what we can do now uh, we can for example change the background of this uh, uh, of this item so I'm going to change that uh, to opacity of 30% and as you can see it will apply to each and every item inside this repeater, okay? So uh, the next thing what I want to do, I want to apply uh, some animations to uh, those uh, items. So for example for this uh, stack inside this gallery title section I can apply uh, some animation. So select that stack and click this uh, animation button and from here we can select uh, different animations. So as you can see we have fade in, float in, expand in fly in and so on and in this case I'm going to select uh, float in okay and uh, I can click customize button to customize this animation so I can customize direction for example I can set uh, from bottom uh, duration of this animation delay or uh, you can even check this option to animate only the first time so I have selected this uh, animation float in from bottom so we can close that for now and let's click preview and as you can see this is how our uh, gallery now is animating so let's get back to our edit site and let's also edit uh, or animate our repeater okay but before that let me just uh, change the name of this section so i can rename this section to uh, maybe something like uh, gallery okay so i'm going to select this repeater now and i'm going to click this uh, animate button and now i can choose a uh, different animations so for example i can set uh, float in and uh, this time this animation can uh, float in from the right side instead of a bottom okay i can just close that for now and let's uh, save this okay and let's preview our website for now so when we scroll down below we're going to also see some good animations with each and every item here so well, there is one more thing which we need to modify and that is our uh, menu from above so when we actually select our gallery here uh, we need to automatically scroll down below to our gallery section okay so let's uh, go to edit site before we actually implement uh, this uh, link uh, we need to create an anchor point okay uh, for example if i select uh, this uh, element stack uh, i can go uh, in this uh, inspector on the right side and i can uh, just enable this uh, anchor inside this uh, anchor section so just enable that and i can uh, rename this anchor to gallery press enter and uh, now we're going to select uh, our menu from here we're going to click uh, manage menu and from here uh, we're going to remove this one so just click those dots and click delete item and instead we're going to add this one link items and here we're going to choose anchors and we're going to select the exact anchor which we just created and that is this gallery okay so click done and we can rename this item to uh, gallery okay press enter and let's move this in the middle so let's close this let's uh, hit preview and let's check out if uh, this will work so as you can see when I hover over uh, it basically tells me that uh, I can click on that so when I click on that as you can see it will navigate me to this gallery section and when I press home it will navigate me to this home section so it works perfectly fine okay so uh, let me switch to this uh, mobile uh, breakpoint and here uh, for example when we select this uh, menu you will see that uh, this sidebar will open but this icon is uh, colored in black and we want to change that and we also want to move this vertical menu uh, down on the bottom a little bit so uh, let's change that okay click uh, edit site and here we're going to select uh, open menu to actually open this menu and let's select this uh, vertical menu and uh, top uh, margin can be for example uh, 100 uh, pixels okay all right and uh, here i'm going to select uh, this menu icon and uh, click this design button so uh, we're going to select this open state and i want to change the icon color when our uh, menu is uh, opened so the color of this uh, menu should be white as well okay let's save that and let's preview to see if uh, everything gonna work now 
Okay, so let's click this menu. And as you can see, now our uh, X uh, icon is actually colored in white and uh, our menu items are uh, moved down below so they don't overlap with this uh, header section on the top. And of course, we can navigate uh, from here as well. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. So there is one more thing which I want to uh, modify here. So uh, for example, when I select this, click open menu, I want to select the vertical menu and I want to design that. So uh, for the selected state, I want to change the color of uh, selected uh, menu item and uh, I'm going to select the uh, green color instead. Okay, as you can see now it looks better. Uh, okay, so, uh, so far we have created the, the gallery section and uh, our gallery section is uh, fully responsive on each and every screen resolution and uh, it looks uh, very nice. So uh, that will be all for this video and in the final part of this tutorial series we're going to create a contact form down below and we are going to add the footer as well. So uh, thank you for watching, please like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one.